Hello everyone, this is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading for Gemini for March 30th through April 5th. Thank you for joining me today, and if you are new to my channel, welcome. And please subscribe and join me each and every day for my quick glance daily readings. Now just a reminder, these are general readings. Take what resonates and disregard the rest. And all the card information is listed below, so let's get started. You first have the Ten of Wands. A lot of signs are getting this card, understandably so. The Nine of Coins. The Seven of Swords. And your overall energy, Gemini, the King of Cups. Okay. So Gemini, the first thing that's coming through is the difficulties that you've been experiencing lately will be coming to an end and you will be standing on your own. You will be independent, self-sufficient, and successful. Now let's take a closer look at each of your cards, Gemini. And your first card here is the Ten of Wands, indicating being overburdened, having a lot of responsibility, taking on too much, whether it's intentional or unintentional. Sometimes when you have too much to do, Gemini, you will miss future opportunities and have no time to have inspiration to create new ideas. So Gemini, delegate some of this responsibility to others. Disregard that nudging feeling, Gemini, that if you don't do it yourself, it won't get done right. Ask others for help. Otherwise, you will be overworked, overstressed, and overtired. Now, this is a good time to re-examine everything that you do and your current habits that take your time and energy and that provide very little payoff. Eliminate what isn't necessary at this time, Gemini, or at least, again, delegate it to someone else. Now, the number 10 energy of this card is one of completion. This time of being over busy and overburdened will be over soon. So rest assured, you will begin to seek out new pursuits soon. Okay, Gemini, let's take a look at your next card, and it is the Nine of Coins which is also known as the Nine of Pentacles. This is a card of standing in your own power, Gemini. You are independent, successful. This is an indication that you are self-sufficient and self-reliant. This card is an indication that you have worked really hard and now are enjoying the fruits of your labor. This is a card that indicates that you have self-discipline and you're taking charge of your own future. So take a little time out this week, Gemini, and do something just for yourself. The number nine energy of this card is one for looking back over what you've done and accomplished and feeling very secure in your achievements. The nine of pentacles card is one of being financially secure not having to rely on someone else for your financial stability. Now, looking at your next card, Gemini, you have the Seven of Swords. This card usually indicates a negative or bad energy around you at this time. This could possibly be some individuals that are doing what serves their own means, even if it's deceptive or manipulative. This can be people sneaking around your back and not being upfront with you. Some individuals might be manipulating a situation to get things to go the way in which they will benefit. Now for some Geminis, you actually might be holding back on some information or keeping something hidden at this time and possibly for good reason. Now, <clears throat> the number seven energy of this card is having to deal with forces that are beyond your control. And that definitely can be dealing with some people who are not honest or upfront with you, Gemini. 
Now, another indication of this card showing up could mean that you might do something quite unexpected. Not indicating that's good or bad, but just something out of the norm for you, Gemini. Now, the three card spread adds up to number 26, which reduces down to number eight. And number eight is indicating abundance, which can have a lot to do with your nine of coins card, Gemini. Now, the next card I want to talk to you about, Gemini, is your overall energy for the entire reading. And you have the King of Cups. This individual is emotionally mature, very experienced, very calm, and an understanding listener. He is one that gives good advice and makes a wonderful mediator. He has a big heart and is extremely caring. He does have a wonderful way to be able to channel his emotions in creative ways. And at times he may seem emotionally detached, but this is only because he is able to control his emotions, not because he doesn't care. And that's what makes him such a good spokesperson. Now, since this is the overall energy to the reading, this could be your traits at this time, Gemini that you've been very calm, you've reacted wisely to the situation at hand, you've worked hard, you've prepared for your future, you take precautions. For other Geminis, this could actually be an individual showing up to help you out this week. This would possibly be a water sign. It could be Scorpio since the King of Cups is actually Scorpio's card, but it could also be Cancer or Pisces. Now, this individual is very wise counsel. This could be an advisor or possibly someone more mature that you look up to, like a father type figure. And for some Geminis, this could actually be your father. Now, I feel for most Geminis that you're in good shape this week. So this might just be the case of asking a few questions for advice. Now let's take a look at which crystal your angels and guides have chosen for you for this week. Pipestone. Now this crystal doesn't come up that often, Gemini. So for some reason, your angels and guides want you to get in touch with your ancestors or find out more about your background. For some Geminis, your angels and guides are indicating you may feel a strong pull to a particular culture that may not be in your current family bloodlines. This culture may have been part of who you were in a past life, or you may have some soul link to these ancestors. So pay attention to any particular cultures or belief systems that you find yourself drawn to at the present time. And now is the optimal time to research your family lineage. Now, Pipestone is a sacred crystal in the Native American culture. It is carved into sacred pipes and is used in other sacred objects. It is associated with the root chakra and is used to connect with the ancestors, the great spirit, and to the earth. Now this crystal won't resonate with all Geminis, but very interesting for this to come up. So for the Geminis who have been wondering about their ancestry, this is a wonderful week to start looking into that, and obtaining the crystal pipestone can assist you on your path. Now, I did pull an angel answer oracle card for you, Gemini, and you received improving health. Now, for those Geminis who might have had a question in mind at the beginning of this reading, your angels and guides want you to know that the health of the person you asked about is going to improve. So that's a special message for some Geminis. And also you can request the assistance of Archangel Raphael and your guardian angels to speed along the recovery. Now for other Geminis, this card showing up may be urging you to make more healthful choices in your own life. If you're feeling called to detox from harmful foods or substances, you should follow that guidance, Gemini. Removing unhealthy practices from your life 
will make you feel vibrant and strong. And your angels and guides have provided this message for your benefit, Gemini. So in review, Gemini, your Ten of Wands card indicates that you've been handling an awful lot lately. But the number 10 energy of this card is indicating that this will soon end. Your Nine of Coins card indicates that you've worked hard, you've been wise and prepared in regards to your future. And to take a little break this week and do something enjoyable. The Seven of Swords showing up indicates unfortunate negative energy surrounding you at this time. Just be on the lookout. And for some Geminis, your angels and guides are indicating to look into your ancestry. It might be a fun hobby to start up this week since so many of us are indoors. And also your angels and guides have given you the answer in case you were concerned about someone and their health. So Gemini know that the troubled times will start to subside and end and you will be able to get on with your future. Thank you for joining me today. Be sure to subscribe and help support my channel. And to continue with the private reading, click on my website link below. Love, health, and abundance to my Gemini family.